Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of The Edric Show. I am your host, Edric Jerome. This is the place for intelligent conversation with interesting people. Go ahead and ring that notification bell. Go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and you'll get notified when I post content each and every week. Uh, I want to welcome back to the show my brother, <laughs> my creative brother, uh, the one and only Mr. Lamont Young. He's Thank you, brother. It's a pleasure. Oh, of course, man. Uh, he's an actor, filmmaker, poet, writer, motivational speaker. Uh, his brand new book of poetry, A Gift from the Soul, an Expression of Art and Verse, is an enchanting look into the human condition through the use of poetic verses and original art. As an actor, Lamont has performed on stages in both Northern and Southern California, and his performance in the powerful short film Blue Eye Shadow has garnered acting awards in multiple film festivals in the United States and globally. Lamont, welcome back to the show, man. Thank you, brother. It's good to be here, man. Good. And, and, and can I say, I got to give you your props too, bro. The show has is blossoming. Well, thank you, It sir. is growing. It is it's dynamic, man. The caliber of people that you're bringing on the show, I feel honored to be back. Uh, I, appreciate just, yeah. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Very no, nice. No, no. Well done. Slow and steady, man. Slow and steady. Yes, Building sir. that audience. Uh, also, before you even get to the book, I see you down there hanging out. Lovely Southern California. It's beautiful yeah. where you are. Yes, Look at you, man. Sunny shine, sun shining. <laughs> just enjoying it. Enjoying it. Enjoying it. I, I'm enjoying looking it. like I'm living in Hollywood. Man, <laughs> tell me about it. Tell me about it. Uh, I mean, this is gonna be a tough interview because you know it's my brother. So we we go back and um, but I'm, let me get let me get back on point. So. All right, sir. First of all, let's go. Uh, tell me about the title of the book, A Gift from the Soul. Uh, what's the story behind the title uh, and how does that reflect the themes of the collection? Um, the title literally came to me as one of the poems usually comes to me. It, it, it just came. I, I, my wife, praise the God for her. She, very God, she was very instrumental in helping me to write this book because she was on me about uh about organizing the different poems that I had in different notebooks and whatnot. And, and so um, when I finally sat down to kind of compile everything and I, and I edited it, everything myself and, and kind of formatted the book myself. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I, I, I came, to, I was, I was just sitting there and it was the it was a labor of love. And I felt as if I gave it from my soul, kind of a lot like when we did blue eyeshadow, and when we were done with Blue Eyes Shadow, we both were so invested that engaged so much of ourselves that it was like, <sighs> <laughs> and that's what I felt like after writing this book. I was a deep sigh, and I felt as if something had been completed. Mm. Um, and, and as I just started thinking of the title, it literally just came from a gift from your soul, from mm. you know, from who you are, a representation of that, and that that's really where where I landed on it and just stuck stuck with that, and that kind of formatted how we how I went, I went back from there and reformatted each section for the heart, the mind and, and the, um, and, and, the, and the reality, the body for the three sections of the poem. Um, usually when people write or are creative, it stems from a uh, personal experience or an event or, uh, just living life, man. So tell me about, uh, what was it that, it, that you experienced, um, that sparked the creation of these poems? Um, living life. And and some and you know and sometimes you know I, I I'm one of them creative people where I get downloads. I don't I don't have muses or anything like that. I'm, I'm but I but I get downloads. I'll I'll something will happen. I'll be I'll be contemplative or or understanding different things as I go through life. And and once I get to a certain point of understanding, it seems like the whole thing just boom, <laughs> and I have to write it down. And, and most of the times it's so dense. I don't even know what it means. Many of the poems that, that are in the book now um, are poems that I've written 20 years ago, 30 years ago. Um, and just now I'm starting to understand the meaning of them as an adult, what they really represented, or I'm able to unpack them a little bit more. So, so the inspiration really comes from beyond me in most cases. Um, you also illustrated the book uh, in addition yes. to writing it. So, um, Tell me about the images that accompany the poems. And, uh, and and again, walk me through that creative process of not only putting pen to paper, but now you're sketching out and actually illustrating uh, graphical interpretations of the pieces. So tell me about that process. Okay, so the, 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 the artwork and the poems are disconnected in a way. Interesting. As far as from the creative 
the creative part of it. Um, the poems came separately over a span of 30 years, and so did the artwork. And, and, and they were all just in boxes <laughs> in my closet, deteriorating and, and falling apart. Um, and, when I, and when I did the book of poetry, I was going to look for an artist. And my wife was like, well, baby, you have all this art in here. And I was like, well, so I just started going through each poem. And it was a process, man, of, of, rev of revelational understanding, to be honest, of even what the, what the artwork meant. Many times I, I would start crying as I and, and as I was able to link each poem with the with the um, with the picture because it gave it new meaning and it gave it a depth that I didn't understand at first. And and as I was pairing them up, it was it was healing for me. And mm -hmm. and so in most cases, and, and actually every poem, every book, every um, art piece of artwork, except for one, and I'll share that. Um, this one actually is of my mother. She actually created that. And I actually have the full um, painting in the house. Our family wow. fought over it after my mother passed. We, she had like 20, 30 different um, paintings. And, and we all div divided. My mom was a, was a superlative artist. Superlative artist. Um, and uh, she kind of inspired a lot of the stuff. But this is her um, actual work right here. Um, the other poem, other uh a piece of artwork are are uh, are mine and they are original and they were just things that came to me just like the poems <laughs> and i and i would just oh, oh. <laughs> and and you would think i was crazy because i'd get into a zone and i'd do each i'd do it in one day, one night <laughs> one day <laughs> and just and just sketch it out yeah. uh one thing i know about you is that your ability to uh as you say you know get into the soul and your creative spirit and the way you can become that vessel to to share, uh, you know, themes and, and 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 things about humanity. You really, you know, it was not just. And we'll talk about your work on the stage because you you do it there as well. Um, so in that vein, what do you want people to take away uh, from reading your poems, and uh, what should they be reflecting on when they're finished? The nature of life. Um, the poem is the, the the book is broken up into three sections, right? It's the um, it's the heart, which is the soul, the mind, which represents thought, and the body, which represents reality. And a lot of us, you know, we go through turmoils in life in any one of those three areas, and sometimes in all of them, as we try to acclimate ourselves to the pressures, the stresses of life, as we try to interact with people and situations and things that seem outside of our control or outside of our understanding. And what I, and what I attempted to do in this book of poetry is to speak for people in a way, in a nuanced way, that allowed them to find themselves in each one of these poems as they reread them, as they read them over and over again, almost like scriptures. When you read the scripture at one point in life, you gain one understanding as you read it. At another point in life, you gain a different understanding. Well, these poems are the same way. I've been gleaning and gleaming, rather, knowledge and information from them and insight of who I am and who, and as who I am as a human being just from reading them like one of the poems is um called humanity and it, it simply goes an endangered species roams this earth unlikely souls trapped since birth guided by a natural girth and accomplishments for worldly worth as each of me smile hand in hand and gladly choose unspoken paths endangered all since birth as a kid i was like what the heck am i talking about but as a as a 51 year old man i look back at that poem now and i'm like wow Focus on what's in front of you. Stop getting so caught up in the rat race of life, stressing, worrying about obtaining and gaining when I've been blessed with everything I need right here in front of me, my family, those that care about me, friends such as yourself, people that support you. Those are things that you need to focus on, not the rat race of life. So in these poems, I'm hoping people find an understanding of how to live life effectively and, and with peace, with peace through having an understanding of what they're really looking at. Uh, I want to shift gears now and talk about uh, your work as an actor. Uh, you are a very talented actor, both on stage and in, uh, on screen. Uh, you've done national commercials for Etsy. You know, we can run through your resume, man. You you were on uh, Nickelodeon's Danger Force. Uh, you've done a, just some outstanding work on stage, uh, including in the film Blue Eyeshadow, as I mentioned earlier. Um, but I want to talk about your, your most recent 
piece that I was able to see you and uh, your talented wife, Tamara, in. And that was uh, the original piece, Sessions Over. You guys had a chance yes. to perform that down in L.A. at the Peachtree uh, Film Festival that, or, that we were able to, to be a part of. And you guys did that piece on stage. Um, tell me about that original piece, man, because it was so captivating. Uh, just the way, and, and also the way you guys work together, not only as, as acting partners and producing partners, but also as a family, because you have other things. You have your little guy to take care of. But you guys are able to, to, to swirl all that together and come up with uh, just an amazing piece of work because uh, it, it, it stays with you after you see it, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. Well, hey, I have to give all credit to my wife. I mean, we helped to produce it, but uh, my wife, as you said, is a talent. Um, she wrote the piece. Um, and she wasn't going to do anything with it. She, I mean, she was going to, but she was apprehensive. And, and as you know, when, when, we, when, um, when we got Blue Eyeshadow into the Peach Film Festival, um, I found out um, through the through uh, Pichanda, the person that actually runs the festival, that she actually also had a a, a play festival that was going to be featured at this at the same thing where we're going to be doing excerpts. So I talked to my wife. And I was like, "Baby, uh, let's go through some of your stuff and let's let's see which one we should do." So we read a couple of them, and I told her, "I said, baby, we got to do this one. We have to do this one. Just the subject matter, the the, the you know the intensity, the the." The, the the word play the 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 the, the way the humor it's, it. it's funny and it's funny yeah on top yeah. of that yeah. yeah yeah it really is and I'm and I'm like okay um this is hilarious and it is well done so we submitted it um we got it and we and it was accepted um and we took an excerpt from it so the full length the full length play we're actually doing a play reading um this month um uh, here in North Hollywood. Uh, so where we're going to be actually doing the full play and then we're going to actually be putting it up or filming it. We, we're, we're going back and forth on what we're going to do. But for the Peach uh, Film Festival, we did an excerpt from it. Uh, and that was our first time ever putting it on his feet. <laughs> first time doing it. And, 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 and we we came through with a quick little scene as far as the dynamics between the characters, how we were going to how we're, it was going to play out. And at the end, what we really relied on is just our ability to interact with each other. And, and because in many ways, as my wife was telling me, oh, this character is the amalgamation of you and uh, and and some research and a couple other things that I've been looking at. And some of the conversations we've had about how you say men think um, as far as where where the modern woman is. Right. And, and so she, she she took that ball and ran with it, man. And it, it was a blessing to behold and expand and to be a part of. And, and it's something that we're growing from and building off of and, uh, to, to, you know, to make it a little bit more substantial. Yeah, that's really exciting, man, because um, the, the feel of the audience, you know, when you're watching a play, you can tell how the audience, you can feel how the audience is responding to it. And when you guys perform that piece, uh, they, the audience was right there with you, man. They really were on every word. So yeah. uh, looking forward to you guys being able to expand that piece because um, it's, uh, it, it, it is interesting conversation about the dynamics of male and, and you know men and women's relationships in in modern yeah. society, you, know, you guys got a, did a good job of that. So um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was it was well, it, yes. And, and I even though she wrote, I take onus for the fact that I I, I noticed a lot of my verbiage and not and, <laughs> in it. I was like, I was like, I didn't say. that. I was like, are you talking about me in this part? Because because I know I actually said that to you <laughs> in response to you know. So 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 some things are funny. The best art comes from uh, real world experiences, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> very good. Very good. Um, we we have to talk about the 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 um, short film we did, Blue Eye Shadow. It is still percolating along. Um, you know, the we wow. we did the piece. You know, a couple years ago. It's been in, as I mentioned in the opening. I think we're up to fifteen film festivals. It's been been associated yeah. with fifteen, so, and we've we've uh, placed the fifteen. We actually won eight of them. Yeah. Yeah. And also, uh, we just got word that uh, one of the film festivals we were in last year, Town Street Theater, the prestigious Town Street Theater Film Festival in L.A., they contacted us and they want to screen it again this summer. So, uh, again, this film uh, is just powerful. It, it continues to speak to people. And uh, but my question to you about the film is now that we are, you know, a couple of years from actually filming it, uh, when we did it, did you think we'd have the success we've we've been having? I mean, what, what was your take on it? And, and now that you see what it's kind of grown into, um, I'll, I'll say this: um, when we were producing it, I know I brought together the right people to make sure that it would be a success. I know that, um, 
just because of you know and 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 I a good friend of mine um I say a brother Master G Guy O'Brien from Sugar Hill Gang when I used to work for him he used to tell me proper preparation prevents piss poor performance uh so we we prepared we prepared we over prepared um over practice over analyze over critique every aspect of what we were doing because we wanted to honor you as the writer and the fact that this was a personal experience that you were sharing with us and we wanted to be and we thought it was such a beautiful story that we wanted to make sure that we did it justice as we all shared it with the rest of the world so from that perspective i knew it would be a success because the intent and the focus was to be a blessing to people because that was the intent and focus when you wrote the piece so we had to translate that into producing it as a film um and so to be honest I didn't know that we get all the fanfare that we've been getting two years. I knew we would. I knew we would win festivals. We had all the key components. I didn't know two th two years later, counting that we'd still be winning festivals and people would still. I mean, we've literally had people that have reached out to us right. several different times and like, hey, um, I've seen your thing in this festival and that festival. Can you submit it to ours? Can you? We'd like to have it in our festival. And and you, that's unfounded in most cases. It's, but it's funny you say that, man, because literally yesterday, and I hadn't even, we hadn't had a chance to talk. I got another email from another festival, literally <laughs> yesterday, asking about screening Blue Eye Shadow. So, See? man, man. See, and, and that's just because of what we put into it, the, the, the passion that you put in it in writing, and as the executive producer, the passion that I put into it as the producer, the passion that Terrence put into it as the Shout director. Shout out to Terrence Ivory. Absolutely. Yeah, the passion that my wife put into it as a co producer. And, and when you get all those minds, creative souls that are geared towards excellence and being a blessing, that's what funneled into the, the, the camera crew, the film crew, the editing crew as we went through the editing process. Shout out to, um, to, to Marquez, Marquis, that's my brother. Uh, he, 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 he was a <laughs> dynamic editor, brought a lot of things together and nuances together. Um, Overall, I knew that we would be a success, and I say, and I'll speak prophetically. I think that the the the, the piece is not done with. Yeah, um, you and I have had conversations and talks about you moving it into the teaching and educational arena because of the subject matter. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that um, because I, I say this, anything that you do with the intent and focus to be a blessing to someone sincerely. Uh, there's going to be a certain degree of provenance that's placed over it and a certain degree of favor that's going to be placed over it um, as as as, the pro as any project moves forward. And I think we found that. Um, and, and that's the reason why it's blessed the way it's and been blessing us the way it's been doing. And, and I would be remiss if I didn't give a shout out to Sandra Varner, also one of the oh, producers. Oh, heck yeah. The, 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 who, the, the other producer, Miss Sandra, because she, she was the one who helped us get the original thing together on his feet on, on for, the, for the, the, the play. Right. So she was she's instrumental and, and, and with her ability to be able to help us market it and, and push it at these different arenas. Um, it's so so with us, with us five, if please pardon me sorry, for not mentioning you for us five the coming together, um, that that was the key to, to the success. Absolutely. And people, you can see the film. Uh, just go to cblueeyeshadow.com. I'll have the website down there. cblueeyeshadow.com. You can get to our YouTube channel. Uh, not only do we have the film up, we've got some behind the scenes footage. Uh, we've got a video on the evolution of the film. And then uh, there's several vignettes of me asking Lamont about his creative process, uh, which are, are very, very interesting. So um, cblueeyeshadow.com. Uh, and you can check out our award winning short film. Uh, which continues to uh, gain an audience uh, as people yes. discover what we what we did. So uh, we've got a few minutes left, man. So let me ask you now: um, if people want more information about the book, they want more information about you. Uh, you I know you can go to Amazon. You know, I got my copy. Uh, yes. Gift from the soul. Uh, so where can people get the book, man? Um, you can get it on Amazon. Um, it, it's under under just the title of the book, "A Gift from the Soul." Lamont um, Harold Young, uh, author. Um, also, the gift for the soul. We did a we did a live event um, uh, just a week ago, um, where we um, actually had some spoken word art poets there, um, and I and it was a book a uh, book with lot launch release for the book. Um, but this, so we're going to actually be doing a online version of the of the actual 
uh, show. And we're going to be doing it as a repetitive thing in order to be uh, uh, in order to be able to showcase the gift from the souls of those people that are uh, that speak to life. Uh, poets speak to life and, and, and in a special way. And in fact, poets were the beginning for most artisans, you know, as far as with the written word. Right. So um, the gift from the soul is actually going to be an online venue. Um, and it's going to be something that we bring back as a live version also. So there are going to be a lot of opportunities for people to tap in and connect. And you can reach me um, to find out more about all that uh, just through Instagram and Lamont Harold Young. Or you can look up Powerhouse Inc. Productions. Um, and you can reach me at LHY Powerhouse Inc. at uh, Gmail uh, for any direct questions or bookings or, or, or collaborations. Because uh, I'll say this. Um, this man here is a, speaking of Mr. Jerome, is one of the most talented producers that there is in the game right now. And 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 him and I quite often talk about how we can be instrumental in helping bring other people's visions and dreams to life. So uh, if either reaching out to Edric or reaching out to me, if you have a vision or you have a script or you have something that you're looking for that you want produced, um, we can do everything because we have a team of writers between Edric, I, my, my, myself, my wife, and a couple other writers where we can actually do everything from script analysis, rewriting scripts, and we can do everything from concept uh, all the way to film, full-fledged film production and exactly. the help of Sandra and others such as that. We have the ability to strategize marketing plans um, and everything. So um, definitely reach out to either of us if you also have a buzz or a muse for for filmmaking excellent 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 and i know we we've been workshopping and uh, we won't say a whole lot about it but we actually have done some read-throughs on another project that we have that is uh it's it's a it's a doozy yeah yes <laughs> it's a doozy yes. and it's, it's going doozy. to be a blessing <laughs> absolutely some more to come on at so lamont again man uh congratulations on publishing your book a gift from the soul uh expression of art and verse uh i love working with you man you're my brother i appreciate yes. you yes. Um, thank you for sharing your talent and vision. Please give the, my best to Tamara and your little guy. Uh, you have a beautiful family, man. And uh, I just want to say thank you for taking the time uh, to, sh to share with us from that beautiful, beautiful place you are down there in SoCal. Magnificent wow. where you're sitting right yeah. now. Uh, hey, just hey, thank you, you know, man. I'm blessed. <laughs> <laughs> you are. You are. I'm you blessed, are. brother. You are, man. You are. Well, continue blessings to you and the fam. And uh, again, I want to thank you so much for coming on the Edric Show. Yes, sir. Wonderful. Hey, support my brother Edric. <laughs> like and subscribe. My brother Edric. <laughs> like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Yes. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Blessings. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, this has been another edition of the Edric Show. I am your host, Edric Jerome. As promised, intelligent conversation with interesting people. Go ahead and ring that notification bell. Go ahead and check that like button, and you'll get notified when I post content each and every week. I want to thank you for tuning in, and I will catch you on the next episode.